this video of Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift making out like the plane's going down after the game. Sheesh. Uh, but Let's let um, them keep their personal lives personal. Oh, they're going to try to. Are they? As they? Yeah. I don't know. No, they, they seem very comfortable in the public eye, as does Mrs. Mahomes now, who's in the SI swimsuit edition Well, she this gets year. now like pushed out to the side. There's plenty is, of... Uh, that's good for it. You know who we didn't hear from this year, which is great? Jackson Mahomes. The well, world wins because... I don't even know if he was there. She wouldn't he was let there. Him, she wouldn't let him in her VIP area the other Kel- night. Kelsey apparently uh, gave him a little huggy after the game or whatever, old Jackson Mahomes. Less is more with him. Well, Kansas City wins the Super Bowl in overtime 25-22. to Ends up being the final. Uh, ESPN is pumping up. This is very cute. That it compared to Brady. Because, you know, that's where they got to go with this, uh, right? Obviously. And it's fine because it works because people care because people get engaged in it. So ESPN is pumping up the fact that this is Mahomes' third double-digit comeback win in a Super Bowl. Better than Brady? Uh, yeah, Brady only has two. Oh, goat. It's over. I don't need to listen anymore. <laughs> I know who the goat is. Right? I love you for that. No, it really is true. Like... At whatever metric they can find a way to sink their teeth into to the whole, see, even he didn't do it. I mean, again, how does how in the world is this even a debate when Tom Brady not only beat Patrick Mahomes on the AFC side, stopping him from going to a Super Bowl, and then beat him on the NFC yeah. side in a Super Bowl. That's the part of this that gets me. And yet, still, when Tom Brady was trying to surpass Joe Montana, it was, well, he's going to get more than four. Well, maybe five will do it. Okay, I guess I'll begrudgingly give it to him at six. Well, it's seven now. He's just piling on. But Brady, it felt like, no, 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 no. As good as you are, you're going to sit in the waiting room of being the greatest quarterback of all time. Whereas with Mahomes, everybody just wants to shove him down our throats. It's because it's what we do. It's Because it, it works. Again, I'll get back to it works. You pose this on your little TV Chiron lower third. You know, is Mahomes already the best ever? People have a reaction, yep. right? There's somebody that's going to say, yes, obviously I hate Brady. Mahomes is better, more athletic. He's the boat and the goat. He's like Aaron Rodgers with the rings, whatever you want to put it. Piece it all together. Then the other side kicks in. It's not a conversation yet. If you want to do the, at this point, if you want to do the comparison of the timelines, well, he's on a really good timeline. I don't know if it continues. My guess is it won't because I'm dubious of the, I said it earlier, the coach, when he changes coaches, I think that could be an issue for him. And at some point, I don't know that he wants to not be a dad, not be home, not be a father, like be maniacal. Remember Brady's comment? You better be willing to give up your life because I am. Right, mm-hmm. like that's how he got here. Yep. I'm not sure Mahomes is going to give up his life in perpetuity. He might want to get one more, two more, but does he want to do it for another 10, 12, 14 years of giving up his so-called life? So I think the comparison is the timeline at this point, and he's on a really good – now, you have the flip of that. He'd be on the greatest point ever if Brady didn't exist because if Brady didn't stop no. him, Mahomes would have five right now, we right? Would be, we would now be short-term comparing Mahomes to uh, Montana. Well, I think we'd be comparing him to just well, because Babe Ruth and, and, well, and Michael Jordan and the greatest. If he had five Super Bowls in six years as a starter. Right. Because like, I, because okay. I, think, I think, show's over. I think what would happen with Montana is they would take the like eighty-one through eighty-nine run, and then compare it to Mahomes right now because you know the guys sit down or missing a year or something like that, and there's always that extra layer of context to add to it. I would also say the other thing too is is that in a way Patrick Mahomes went to a team that was kind of ready for someone like him. Oh, yeah. Meaning there were weapons there. I heard Randy Moss, and believe it or not, Randy Moss and Teddy Bruschi, of all people, on the ESPN version of the pregame that was from noon to two yesterday. And even Teddy said, hey, listen, if you just go by the first seven years, what Mahomes has done is more impressive than Brady. And Randy Moss blurted out, and, uh, hey, why don't you tell them who Tom's weapons were before 07? And he makes a really good point that there were, if you start to get into who was around who, now you're starting to get to the Tom Brady part of Patrick Mahomes' career. They let Tyreek Hill run to Miami. They invested more in defense. And then it was, all right, Patrick, 
You're going to have to manage this. We'll find a way to be able to manage the other side of it because the Kansas City defense is just as big a part of this championship run as Patrick Mahomes. Sure. But you would never know that. And it's it's sort of there. That's where it's a little inverse Brady in that Brady had the defense earlier that's in his what, career. Yeah, you know what I meant on yeah. the whole, yeah. And, and I think in a weird way for Mahomes himself, he may have screwed himself by winning because I think if he loses, maybe there's a wake-up call to like, you know what, we, we he's Patrick Mahomes, he's great, but we still need to invest in weapons around him. We can't just say this guy, Kadarius Tony, will do it, or Nicole Hart, like we need to get a good player. But what he proved them right. Just go out there and win, Patrick, and they won, and now they have issues. They got, Are they going to keep Chris Jones? Are you going to keep one of the best defensive players in football? I've said to you, well, who would you rather spend $30 million on in free agency? An impact guy like a Chris Jones or another, or the wide receiver du jour coming off the great season, you know? So, and for them, I think they would probably say Chris Jones. They need Chris Jones. Every and, team needs a Chris Jones. But if you lose this game, there is going to be a discussion in Kansas City and around the NFL did you take too much? You know, Kelsey's slowing down. He's getting older. Are you going to just put it all on Mahomes? You got to help him out. The Brady later in his career questions or just different aspects of the comparison, but he wins. So if I'm, if I'm, it's Leach, right? Uh, Veach. Uh, uh, Veach. Brett Veach, I yeah. think it is. I'm like, well, he's, he, he figured out a way. There were some stumbles in the middle of the season, but he figured out a way to get it done. So maybe I'll just go with the Green Bay plan. We'll draft him a receiver every year, and if we hit on one of every two or one of every three, at just this, enough. At this point, why not? There's so much depth of wide receiver coming into the league right. that I've argued, and I think you and I very much like Marvin Harrison, because to me, I look at a Marvin Harrison, I'm like, okay, that guy comes in way above the rest of these guys. These other dudes might grow, but this guy right now, he is a... Starter, he's like a, he's a number one wide receiver from day he's one. He's supposed to be Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, go. one of these new age right out the gates. He's your number one receiver, ready to go. Pencil in a thousand yards in year two. You're expecting fifteen hundred and get in the end zone. That's now, it. to me the number one's getting the end zone as long as somebody throws him the ball. Well, there is that, and uh, feels like a big vat. It is a uh, very big that big because fat that because some of the uh, some of the news coming out around the uh, New England Patriots over the weekend is uh, we got to get into this. I Wait, know you've been you dabbling in the political today. Sure, sure, sure. What the three one four says? Mahomes being the goat is all about DEI. White Brady must be surpassed by a minority. That is stupid. No, he. I, I bet you yeah. that person believes that. Uh probably. There's a lot of things that it's about, and it can be dumb on a lot of levels. I don't actually believe it's DEI. Maybe some people do. Yeah, no, that I, is it's no, what he's, we do. He's a good player. He's you a really know? good player. Just like uh, I'm not. A, I'm not the biggest. Um, I'm not the biggest Lamar Jackson guy. I think he's really, really good. But he maybe hit a ceiling a little bit. But did he or did his coach no, pork him? Well, there's no. Well, again, how, how about have a decent completion percentage in a big game? That how about matters? let me run, coach? Don't make don't think I'm Tom Brady and tell me to be a pocket passer for the entire game. Well, my wheels are my most dangerous weapon. Man, well, if you can't throw out of the pocket, you're not gonna win at a high level in the NFL. Well, we'll see. I'd like to see. Let him do what he do. Instead, he do what you do. Uh oh no. Lamar Jackson do what he do. Big spot, big loss. Wow, Every time. You put it all on him. I think it was all on Todd Munkin. Uh more like Todd Stunkin. Well, how many more how many Oh, listen to you. 